live now from the home office for this Thursday, September the 5th, 2019. Approximately 221,000 customers are without power in Georgia. It is the wrath of Dory in North Carolina and South Carolina. As of 10.30 this morning, that is the problem. The bulk of the outages remain in South Carolina. Now, Governor Brian Kemp has lifted the mandatory evacuation order for the coastal counties in Georgia. All Chatham County residents can return to their homes at this time, according to a recent news release. A U.S. service member was killed in a suicide bomb attack Thursday in Kabul, Afghanistan, at a checkpoint near the NATO headquarters in the U.S. Embassy. A U.S. military official with direct knowledge confirmed this incident. Another service member from Romania also was killed, according to the NATO-led coalition. A blood-like substance that contained Jennifer Dulles' DNA was found in the vehicle her estranged husband had access to the day she disappeared. This according to a new warrant released yesterday by the Connecticut State Police. And the United States and China have agreed to return to the negotiating table in Washington to discuss trade. It will be the first face-to-face -face meeting between the two sides since the trade war's rapid escalation in recent weeks. That's a look at your headlines, details on these stories and more throughout the day on KDK Radio. Good morning, everyone.